Social media companies, also of course playing a massive role in amplifying divisiveness, hatred, um, anti-other sentiment, racist rhetoric, anti-Semitic rhetoric, sexist rhetoric, etc. Um, a key part of the reason society is more atomized, people feel more lonely and excluded. Um, that's a whole sector of society that governments have not um, sufficiently regulated. Um, you know, in many ways, it, social media companies are the tobacco companies of the 21st century. And, um, and yet they are, for the ill that they potentially um, create, are being very light touch regulated. So, um, so when you ask about kind of some of the ways that capitalism has swung too far in one direction, that would be a way. You know, we need governments to properly regulate social media companies so that they have a duty of care to their users. And when it comes to younger um, users, I would go so far as to say ban addictive social media for children with the knowledge that in so doing, social media companies will be incentivized to make their products less addictive because you know, they are consciously designed as such, like slot machines you know, with colors and flashing lights. And it's um, making life less connected, paradoxically more atomized, more fragmented, and more lonely for many people. But the irony is it's sold as community, <laughs> as social. Mm. You know, it's sold as these things. And what you're saying, you're saying in the book, actually it's the polar opposite of that.